Timber traders in Kabali municipality of today lost property worth millions after fire gutted timber stores and carpenter workshops at Mudeba in Rwabugoj Ward, Northern Division at around 1.40 p.m. According to Richard Tumuhimbise, an eyewitness working in one of the neighboring stores, they were busy working as a strong smoke came out of brew, adding that because of the big frames, they couldn't do much to put down the fire, thus observing timber, mounting and chopping machines worth millions of shillings, burning to ashes. <laughs> Most of the eyewitnesses couldn't tell the exact cause of the fire and because of the delays of the fire brigade police that came 50 minutes after the fire outbreak, most of the properties were lost. Mm. Of course, police take care of the people who are in the street. So, they are in the street. They are in the street. They are in the street. They are in the Jack Mukasa, one of the affected timber dealers, who also received news from a phone call while conducting other businesses in Kabali town, says that he has made a huge loss worth 100 million shillings in the fire that has destroyed his store. <laughs> The police spokesperson for Chigese region of Ande El Mate confirmed that the incident was a result of an electrical short circuit and that all the workers who were in the store managed to free safe free. Mate appears to the locals to be extra careful while using electrical appliances. There was a fire outbreak where property was about 8 million shillings. Uganda shillings actually has been destroyed. That included the timber, furniture, machines and other materials in a, a timber workshop. This workshop belongs to Mwaga Barex in the Amira Patrick and Mukasa Joseph. And the, the electric cause has been established to have been a, a short circuit where machines were left on. Ask our people wherever they live or wherever we live that we should never always leave gadgets on power when we are not there. And in most cases, short circuit uh, cause fire, then uh, illegal connections. Of course, even the regular power blackouts or load shading, this on and off power system has always caused the problems. However, uh, I want to thank God that uh, fortunately there was no loss or injury of life. On the 4th of August last year, several timber stores were also destroyed by fire in the same place. By press time, the police fire brigade was still fighting to contain the fire from spreading to the neighboring timber stores and houses. Nebatigamachi. Portuguese television.